Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm TechFanatic9 from AndrewRoots.com, back here with Carbon ROM for your Galaxy Nexus GSM, Verizon, and Sprint. So, all three major carriers for your Galaxy Nexus. So, this will work for any type of Galaxy Nexus, uh, anyway, either way, you know. So, it's gonna work. Uh, download, uh, download links down below for this ROM if you wanna get it right now. And if you don't feel like watching this video, but I would recommend you watch this video, just to make sure that you're gonna like this ROM, you like all these features that are included. I'm not gonna touch on all of them, but I'm gonna touch on a lot of them and a lot of good ones that hopefully that you'll do like. Um, if I do touch on all of them, it would take a lot, of, a very long time to do, and that'd just be really pointless. So first thing we would do, uh, let's start with a lock screen. You can turn it um, vertically, right there. There you go. So that's pretty cool, very nice. So you can go ahead and unlock it. And I didn't add shortcuts, but you can actually add shortcuts in this uh, Jelly Bean unlock screen. So you can add like three or four there. So let's go ahead and unlock that. Whoa. Let's go ahead and unlock that bad boy. And let's go into settings first of all. And this ROM is currently running on the latest version 4.2.2. So that is amazing and sweet. So 4.2.2 right there. You got carbon version right there, 1.3.2, just in case if you are wondering. As you, as you can see right there on the bottom, I got navigation bars. And I did feel like adding a, uh, another one, a fourth one right there. So whenever I press that, that is a power button. So that's very useful if you're, you know, you're always on your screen, you're constantly on your screen, and you don't feel like moving your thumb to the power button. This is very easy to do, you know, you're on your screen, blah, 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 you know, you're doing it, and you, there you go, you just tap it, and your screen is turned off. That's a very useful feature. I think I love, I love using that feature. Uh, instead of actually moving my thumb, wasting a lot of time, you know, just going back and forth, which is kind of pointless uh, to me personally. So let's actually go into some of these sections. Like I mentioned earlier, I'm not, we're not going to touch on everything, but we'll touch on a lot of good stuff. Uh, hopefully that you do like. Uh, there is a lot of things to cover, so it will take time if we do cover everything. So in your interface, you can obviously change your care label, which is really nice. So let's go ahead and change it to TF9, just for the heck of it. And then you'll be able to see right there. Right there, TF9 is located right there. You probably can't really see that on the camera, and I really don't feel like zooming in. <laughs> um, other things I really do like, um, you probably just saw that really quick, Pi Controls. So you can actually enable Pi Controls right there. Oh, so there you go, you got Pi Controls right there, which is sweet. And if you don't feel like this location, you can put it on the bottom, the, the right, or the left side, and the top side if you do feel like it. You can change the color of these, um, customize the navigation um, on screen buttons too if you feel like that too so it's really nice very quick and easy to do and it, one thing I really do like is once you do go into expand desktop and you have full screen so you don't have the status bar and you don't have any navigation bars first of all it makes your screen way bigger which I really do like and you can still use your um pack controls right there so that's a very nice feature and I think everyone should use that remove your navigation bars always have a full screen but just have your Pi controls instead, which is very, very useful. I really do like that. So, you know, you can constantly have a full screen, and whenever you need to go to your home button or go back, oh, you can just use Pi control, which is very, very easy to do. I really do like that. So that's a very nice feature uh, Pi control does offer for um, a pure Nexus device uh, with software keys. Um, let's go back out of Pi controls, and you got recent RAM, which is really nice. So you can check out your recent RAM, and I color coded it, which you can choose uh, for what, there's like app, cache, and then this other uh, for each use. So blue is uh, apps, then cache, and then others is gray. So that's another nice feature. And RAM, you got other features right here. Like I said, we're not going to uh, touch on everything. Uh, you do have CRT screen on and off, so the little whoop, you know, it goes whoop like a tube TV. You can do that with both on and off. So it does turn on, and you can see that that did happen, which is really nice. I do like that. Um, let's actually go back, and let's go and and uh, select navigation. And right here, like I said, I mentioned earlier, you have all these options. Like the fourth one, I did add power, but you can add just about anything. Custom app if you want blank, uh, kill app, open, IME, switcher, menu, recent. You can add about just about anything. But for the heck of it, we're just going to leave it at power just for now. But you can go ahead and change to just about any um, um, button you really want to, which is really nice. But I feel like power is very, very useful for a lot of people. And I really do like it. Um, performance. That's probably one of my favorite features. Just about any ROM that does include performance. You have the option to control your um, amount of battery that's using by uh, uh, controlling its performance, the amount of CPU it's using, and it's going to extend your battery way more, but just keep in mind that your phone will become much slower if you do lower it down. So if you go to, let's say, power save, it's going to go way down your megahertz. It's going to go very down, but your battery life is going to be extended incredibly. 
Uh, but let's say you're playing a game, you're playing a good graphics game and all that, right? And you want to um, actually change it to performance so it goes to the max, uh, which is really nice too, um, which you should like, you know, if you're playing games. So you can go ahead and change that, but I'm just going to leave it on demand, which is the best settings. Uh, it'll just push it out whenever it needs it, and it'll go back down when it doesn't need um, that megahertz. And you can also go ahead and change more things in that um, specific application if you do like. Uh, you got Power Widget, which is really neat. I Let's go ahead and enable that. And once you go on here, uh, your Power Widget's right there. Now, yes, you do have widgets right here. You know, I have, your, I have all your widgets there. But whenever you do have a notification, let's say you have an email or something. Oh. Um, it's going to automatically, when you slide this down, it's automatically going to go to this um, notification instead of the quick settings. So you can go ahead and turn off your Wi-Fi and your GPS and all that very, very easily through here if you do, if you constantly have notifications uh, on your screen. And you also have these uh, settings right here, which you, you can uh, change to. Uh, you can add shortcuts. In my um, opinion, I put camera, Gmail, and gallery. You can put anything you really want. You can add more too if you do like that, uh, which is really nice. So this ROM really does include a lot of shortcuts, a lot of nice, uh, makes your phone a lot easier to access, like the pie controls, you know, the quick toggles, this, the quick toggles right there, the application shortcuts, uh, add more navigation. So this uh, ROM will really make you um, become more efficient and uh, get a lot more things done on your device. Um, you obviously have status bar, quick settings if you want to enable the toggles or um, change the order of the toggles, um, which is really nice too. Um, so that's basic look at Carbon ROM. So you're just gonna do about just about everything in your settings to get this. But very very cool ROM. Um, if you like customization about toggles and all that, you're gonna love this ROM. You know you can go ahead and change this, the color of it, even if you want. You know a lot of good things about this. Uh, you can change the camera or you know the icons down below, the toggles right there, the order of these toggles, and you got Pie Control. Let's go ahead and show that one more time. There we go, Pie Control. You got you know or you horizontal lock screen there we go um, that too you also have my favorite is probably expand the desktop and then just use um oh sorry about that and expand desktop and just use pie controls the whole time I keep pressing that <laughs> sorry about that guys but you do have pie there you go you got pie controls right there I need to make that target a little bit bigger so it doesn't uh, keep selecting the wallpaper but you have Pie Controls and all that great features too um, on the Galaxy Nexus GSM, Verizon, and Sprint. Hopefully you did enjoy this um, ROM review of Carbon ROM for Galaxy Nexus, all three major US carriers, International, um, GSM i9-250, uh, Verizon, and Sprint. Thanks for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please don't forget to hit that like button in the bottom left hand corner as that does really, really help me out a lot and shows me that you support me. You want to see more of these great videos and you want to see more app reviews, ROM reviews, uh, routing, all that uh, stuff for you Galaxy Nexus, like GSM, Verizon, and Sprint device. And please do consider subscribing um, to this YouTube channel as I do a lot of YouTube videos. That's the only thing I do on this YouTube channel, just about uh, YouTube videos all the time for a lot of devices. So you're probably going to love this um, YouTube channel if you do have uh, one of my devices, which is Galaxy Galaxy S3, uh, Nexus 4, and Galaxy Nexus GSM. Um, if you do have one of those devices, you're going to love it. I'm going to have more devices coming this summer, so you're going to definitely hit that subscribe button if you want to see more of these videos. Uh, that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace. And one more thing. Don't forget to connect with me through Twitter, Facebook, and Google+. All links down below. Link to Rhyme down below as well. Thanks for watching. Peace.